all you pioneers out there, Commander Kingfish here, and I am in Satisfactory 1.0. This game just came out of Early Access uh, last month, and I've played it before, and it's kind of a fun sandbox type game. I really enjoyed it a lot. So I am starting a new game, and we're going to do the Rocky Desert. And so, let's see. Uh, we've chosen that. What else do I need to do here? Session name must be at least three characters. Oh, that's right. I got to put the name in. So we're just going to call it YouTube Videos. All right. So we can start the game. You're going to get a lot of... Uh, voices or verbiage from Ada, which is the computer generated guide that helps you throughout all of this. And so let's go ahead and get this started. Fix it. Separation from main transport complete. Group A delivered to Calistian region. All Pioneer is functional, initiating dispersion. Attention Pioneer, I am Ada, your personal instance of the Artificial Directory and Assistant. Welcome to the Fixit Incorporated Save the Day program. A Fixit Pioneer has three core assignments. Construct. All Pioneers must follow Fixit guidelines and instructions when constructing any building. Automate. Every pioneer is responsible for setting up and managing efficient pipelines, outposts, and power infrastructure. Explore and exploit. Fix-it selected planets are rich with resources suitable for direct use or further investigation. Stay within your designated. And that is why the world is counting on pioneers like you. Oh. Fix-it. Short-term solutions to long-term problems. I guess we don't know what the Explorer is all Initiating about. Initiating planet fall. Okay. This ought to be a piece of cake, Atmospheric right? Atmospheric entry in three, two, one. Beginning arrow assist. Drag within acceptable parameters. Descent phase begun. Decelerating. Deploying parachute. Deploying backup parachute. Skipping parachute. Landing phase begun. Activating retro propulsion. Gosh, I hope we didn't need those parachutes. Alright, here we go. We're landing. Touchdown. Planet fall complete. Drop pod integrity nominal. Omni situational exploration suit nominal. Pioneer, acceptable. All right, here we are on the planet. Congratulations. You are the third in your region to survive planet fall. Welcome to Massage 2, A, B, B, in the binary system of Akicha. Ah, Massage 2, okay. Loading objective-based introduction. Begin onboarding. Well, explore. Can we fix First this? contact safety tool supplied due to presence of alien megafauna. Okay. Adhere to Fixit procedure and equip the Fixit Inc. Xeno Zapper before leaving the drop zone. Uh, that would be that. Okay. So let's Potential go ahead. Potential edible collected. Put Interrupting in. previous message for higher priority message. Okay. Ooh. All right. Next objective. Dismantle the drop pod. Fix it incorporated as cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. The drop pod will be recycled to construct the first stage of the habitat and utility base, often referred to as the hub. Okay. All right, here we go. F. All right, let's dismantle this thing. 
Probably wasn't going to get us Next back to objective. space anyway. Use the resource scanner to find and collect additional iron to be able to build the hub. If you cannot find iron, be assured scans of the planet have revealed sufficient iron sources. Okay, so we supposedly have iron here someplace. I think it's uh, V. All right, yep, okay, there's our scanner, so let's... Yep, there's iron there. That uh, looks to be the closest. All right, I guess we're gonna head that direction. All right, well, let's uh, grab some, what looks to be burl nuts. Let's grab those. Uh, work our way over this direction. Okay. Here's some more pearl nuts. And we're heading towards the iron deposit. So. And we can grab some more pearl nuts here. So that, uh, I'm guessing that those might be edible. Uh, Ada doesn't want us to eat anything until, uh, we analyze it and okay here we go I think this is this is iron okay we can start mining iron all right let's get this next objective use the build gun to construct the hub Iron is a base component necessary for all near future progress, so ensure you build the hub close to iron sources. Fix it does not pay by the kilometer. Okay, Ada, I understand. You probably don't pay at all. Uh, there's two more iron nodes right there, it looks like. And but what the hell is this? Ah, uh, this is not good. All right, let's take this thing out damage to fix it property though well that would be me all right let's pick this up okay samples of unknown alien species acquired it is unclear where on the flora or fauna spectrum it lies but initial data suggests this might be a nest or an egg preserve the remains for later study okay we did all right so we're supposed to build a hub and we want to build it somewhat close to the iron field so maybe this area right in here looks pretty good all right let's uh pull that out uh we gotta go q all right and there it is okay i guess we select the hub all right there we go hologram uh let's turn it And it says we can lock the hub in place. All right, let's do that. Let's hit H and lock it. Okay. And that looks pretty good. It says we can nudge it right or up, down, left, or right. I'm assuming that's with the arrow key. Let's see what happens. Uh, oh, okay. Yep, we can. Uh, but that's pretty good right there. So let's go ahead and uh, build it. Hub foundation built. The hub terminal and crafting bench are only the humble beginnings of a successful fix-it pioneer, but essential for the next steps of onboarding. Once finished, the hub will function as your base of operations. Next objective, complete hub upgrade one. Okay, let's see. I think this is where we interact with the hub terminal. And I think we click on that. So hub upgrade one is what we need to. So we need 10 iron rods. All right. So that's where we're at. Active milestones. So 
Let's select that milestone. Okay, so that means we've got to... I think over here to the crafting bench, we've already got some iron. And I think that's what we need to do is make iron ingots. And might as well pound all of that into place. Okay, so we need to make the iron rods. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, that's uh, 17. And then I think we need to place those over here in into here. So we can double click that and we can upgrade the hub. Oh. Hub upgrade one, storage and frame completed. Equipment okay. like the portable miner can now be made in the workshop. Congratulations on completing your first milestone, the first of many providing access to new recipes and technologies for the Fixit mission. Next objective, complete hub upgrade two. Okay, we can do that. All right, so we got storage here. All right, so we might as well, I'm guessing we're gonna need those. So let's put this stuff over here. It's, that's not gonna need anything. Uh, go back to Q and oh, an equipment workstation. Uh, let's uh, put that into the to do list. So we need what we need is iron plates and iron rods, which also means we need to get more iron. And then I think, if I remember correctly, when we were looking at that hub we can make some equipment that will actually help us so let's uh, get some more iron we'll get about 20 of these and there we are okay let's take that back over here all right so we've got our to-do list right there on the left or on the right hand side uh, let's get into the workbench. Let's make these iron ingots. So, on the left of this uh, menu, we can see that uh, <clears throat> we're making the iron ingots. And that uh, how many iron plates we can make from the ingots that we just produced. <clears throat> so, let's see. We've got enough iron rods for the equipment workshop. So let's go ahead and make these iron plates. All right, we got enough. Let's uh, save the rest. We won't use up all of our iron, so let's see. All right, so we should be able to go to Q and select this. Okay. I think right about there ought to be pretty good. So let's pop that in. All right, so if we come over here, now we can build a portable miner. So we need, I need two more iron plates and another iron rod. So let's go ahead and make those. Let's uh, see, I think, oh, I think I said I needed, all right. And then I think we needed two more iron plates. So that should have given us the ability to make a miner, and we can do that. Uh, all right, so we got the miner. So what we're gonna do is place this over here on this iron node, and I believe if we we did we got another hand so we can drop this miner over ah that's not what i wanted to do i didn't want to drop that there there we go i wanted to keep that into place so now left mouse button to place the miner let's go ahead and do that all right so this thing is going to mine for us 
so we don't have to do all that pounding. All right. All right. While that's doing that, we need to get our next objective in place. And I think that's uh, upgrade number two. All right. Let's select that milestone. All right. So that means we need more rods and more uh, iron plates. So we're going to need that ore that's being mined over here. Well, let's go ahead and grab it. And we've got 40 in here already. Let's grab that. And that will keep mining away. So let's make enough so that we can uh, get these upgrade number two done. All right, let's pound these ingots. And then uh, we'll make these iron plates and these iron rods. And we've almost got the ingots made. And here we are. All right. So let's, we need a 20 iron rods. We've got four already. And there's 20 or 21. And we needed 10 plates. We already got two. All right, there's our 10 plates. So we can get hub number two. All right, that's ready to upgrade. Okay. Hub upgrade two, power and shell completed. The smelter can turn raw ore such as copper and iron into ingots and the biomass burner generates power when fueled. Fun fact. Most of the native flora and fauna is compatible with Fixit technology. Fueling the biomass burner with inappropriate materials will result in deductions or even cancellation of your yearly bonus. Next objective, complete hub upgrade three. Don't want to lose our yearly bonus. Uh, okay, let's see, We I think we had, oh, this was the biomass burner. All right, so, Oh, you know what? Let's see something here. What can I make here at the workshop? Uh, I can't make biomass yet. But you know what we can do? I think we can build a smelter. And this is just going to be temporary. So, let's see here. Well, I think we got a... Well, first off, we got to go find some copper. So we should have that on the... Okay. Oh, there's some right over there. Oh, that's pretty close. All right. Oh. Uh, but we better take a portable miner with us. And... Oh, I need... That's right. I need iron plates and I need rods. Okay, let's make uh, a few more rods. That ought to be enough. And let's make some iron plates. Uh, is that enough? I don't think so. Let's see. I was. Okay, let's make this miner. Okay, we got the miner. And that copper was out this way, I believe. Yep, there it is. Okay, let's go over here. Should, it should see them. They should look about the same as, oh God, there's another one of those standing right there by it. All right, let's. All right, that's got that out of there okay 
copper. Let's get this out of the way. And we can plop that miner, that portable miner down. There we go. All right. Let's get into our inventory. Let's throw this into the hand there. And let's do that. And left mouse button. There we go. All right, that is mining away. Okay, let's uh, collect some stuff. While that is mining away, we can grab this stuff. This will help us create electricity for the smelter. Not sure how much we'll need. Well, we might as well grab these things. All right, let's grab what copper we can. All right. So let's grab that 35. Okay, so that's got the copper. Let's, uh, let's grab some more stuff while we're on our way back. And we're going to be able to throw this stuff into the burner here. Okay. Let's uh, put this... Uh, Let's just make what we need here. Oh, you know what? We don't know what we need because I haven't picked it yet. All right, let's select this. All right, so we got that up. So that means we need copper wire. Uh, let's look at these. Select a milestone. This is going to give us... Okay, we don't have... All right, but we can build a smelter. What do we need for a smelter? Let's do this. Let's hit Q. Production. Let's put that in. So we need another rod and another uh, copper wire. Okay, good. All right, so let's better make some more copper ingots. All right, let's make the copper wire. I should have put that smelter in as a to-do so I could remember what it is. Let's do that. Let's do Q. Let's uh, add this to the to-do list. Oh, I did. Duh. Let's go back in there. Let's minus one of those out. Okay, so I need eight wire and uh, five rods. Okay. Oh, I guess I got plenty of wire. All right. Uh, we need... Uh, okay, that gives us the ability to make a smelter. And we're just going to plop it down right here. Q. All right. Uh, there's our electric but like this. Right there, good. Okay, now we need to make some cable to hook to it because we're gonna we're gonna use this biomass burner and hook it up to it for electricity. 
And so we need to make some cable. Let's do that. Okay. So we should be able to do two. And we're going to do that and hook that over to that there. Okay. Let's get this out of here. And this will take whatever. We can throw wood in there. And so it can produce. Okay. So once we throw. So if we run over here and grab our iron out of here, like this. And we throw that into here. Oh, we've got to select a recipe. So we're going to select iron. So we're going to drop that in there. And so it's going to start producing our ingots for us. So we don't have to. Uh, so hopefully, better grab some more of these. Oh, that's that's good. All right. So we need to get some wire and some copper or and some rods for upgrade number three. Uh, which uh, we oh, you know what? The reason we got this going over here. Let's go over to the smelter and let's grab those iron ingots that are already made. Now we can just come over here and make our rods. We're going to need 20 of them, so we're going to have to go grab some more of that uh, of those ingots. We can make one rod. Uh... All right. Go we'll grab, grab some more ore out of here. And we can put that into here. And then we can grab these. And let's see if we grab some wood, see how we're doing. Okay, that's not too bad. Put that wood in there. All right, this is looking good. Okay, so... We need... Let's see, how many plates do we got? We got 16. Uh, we need four more. Okay, there's that. Now let's make our rods. We've got two, and we need 20. Okay. And then we can go ahead and put these in here. All right, and then we just need the 20 copper wire. Uh, do I, what did I have over here? Oh, well, I can go ahead and make some copper ingots. And we can let the smelter continue making the iron ingots. And we needed 20 wire, so let's that's enough. So let's go ahead and get that wire made. And then that can get us upgrade number three. Okay. All right. Put that in there. All right, it's ready to upgrade. Hub upgrade three, interior furnishing completed. The constructor can produce simple parts and power poles allow for the expansion of the power grid. When you make the inevitable mistake, fix its dismantling feature is designed to salvage all resources used during construction in line with our zero waste policy. We understand that fix it pioneers are only human and thus prone to error. Next objective, complete hub upgrade four. 
Okay, well, let's check this out. So we've got living quarters. And this is character customization. Oh, so we can change our... So we can put that on. Uh, we can go with that. Uh, camo. I'm good. We can change our trinkets. Yeah, I'm good with that. All right. So let's do that. All right. So the living quarters. I know they're not much, but we can at least live here. All right. Uh, okay. Let's get hub upgrade number four in place. There we go. And that's going to give us conveyor pole, conveyor belt, and three inventory slots. So that's going to give us... So we must have got limestone on that last one. We've got cable. So let's select the milestone. And we're going to need to find limestone. Uh... Oh, we must have ran out of fuel? Or no, it finished. Okay, yep, processed everything. All right, let's grab that. And, oh, you know what? Let's, uh, we've got uh, some copper here. Let's select the recipe. Let's have this start making some copper. And we probably should go grab our copper ore over here and we can throw that in there. Okay, this is, uh, you know, looking good. We haven't died yet or anything. All right, let's grab that. Uh, we might as well, if there is any more stuff to grab. Let's uh, grab this stuff. That way we can keep the uh, burner going. And then the other thing that we can uh, make, a little more wood, put that in there. Uh, let's see, okay, so we need, so we're gonna find limestone. All right, well, you know what that means. We need another, uh, let's pop that in there, grab that. We're going to need another miner because we need to go get limestone. And so that means... Uh, let's see. E. We need two plates and four rods. Two plates. Four rods. And... There we go. All right, let's make that miner. And we're gonna have to go find some limestone. All right. Get that made. And let's throw some stuff in the storage unit here. Get it out of the way. We can put the grass. Oh, we can grab this wood, put that into the, the bio thing. Uh, that's iron, all right. Uh, let's get rid of that. That gives us... And we'll put the pearl nuts in there. All right, I think everything else we need. Let's throw that little bit of wood into here. While we were off and gone, this can keep working away. Actually... Ah, right, oh, that's still working away. All right, we'll let that go. All right, so limestone. Oh, 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 there and there. All right, this one's closest down here. So let's uh, pick stuff as we're heading down there. Hopefully we don't have anything too nasty down there that's going to eat us. And I think I see it up ahead there. Grab that, grab that, that, that. Oh boy, yeah. 
There's one of those pod thingies down there. Oh, there's another little critter there. Oh, that one seems to run away. All right, let's get rid of this pod. All right, unauthorized hostility towards fix-it property, which would be me. All right, so let's... Uh, inventory. Let's throw this into the, one of our free hands. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, okay, right there. Left mouse button, there we go. All right. Let's let that do some mining. We'll go ahead and grab some more sticks and stuff while we're down here. Keep our biomass burner going because we're going to need, we're going to want to get a constructor built. If I remember correctly, we got that blueprint. And so we can put, build a constructor so that we don't have to produce all the parts. And so we can take the, Uh, ore that we're getting and throw that into the smelter and then we could actually run the smelter directly or run conveyor belts from the smelter to the constructor which can then make parts for us let's check something did we get uh, oh, we don't have logistics. I think that's what we're going to get with this next upgrade. All right. So we'll have to build a constructor. So we might wait before we actually build it. So we'll get this done. All right. Let's see how much we got over here. Okay. Hopefully we... It's still mining, so it means it's not 100 yet. Uh, close enough. Let's grab what we can. And then we'll run back up to the hub. Because I believe we can make concrete. And we're going to need 10 of those. We know that we can make the steel plates. Uh, let's uh, swing by over here. Might as well grab this. There we go. Okay. Keep these machines functioning as uh, fast as possible. Got to dig these resources up. All right. And we'll grab that. And I think we're going to want to change this back to iron so let's go ahead and throw that in there and okay we got plenty of materials there let's throw this wood in that we've collected there we go that's good all right okay so we need 75 iron plates. Shouldn't take too long to build these things. Although it looks like we're not going to be able to build enough with this first batch. Oh, but we can make some more iron. So let's build as much as we can here. Let's go ahead and build these out. We ended up with 60, so we only need 15 more plates. And, of course, we're going to be one short, but we have more ingots being made out there in the smelter. All right. Uh, so that's 74. Let's... 
Let's go ahead and make the concrete. We need 10. And there's that. We need 20 cable. All right, well, let's produce some wire here. And it, we can see that we've got 13, 14, 16, 17. Okay, we can make 20 cable. All right. Let's uh, go grab another ingot out of here. Grab that. And let's make that final plate. Where'd they go? Iron plates, there we go. Okay, let's get our hub number four upgrade. Let's drop that in there, drop that in there, and drop that in there. There we go. Hub upgrade number four. Hub upgrade four, landing platform and utilities completed. Conveyor belts connect the output of one building to the input of another and transport resources. Due to past incidents I have been asked to issue a clarification. Portable miners, obviously, do not have a connection for conveyor belts. There is nothing to suggest, visually or functionally, that they can be connected to portable miners. If this is something you struggle with, do not worry. Fixit has alternative uses for all their pioneers. Next objective, complete hub upgrade 5. Okay, let's uh, see what we need for hub upgrade number 5. All right, uh, iron rods, cable, and limestone. We should have all of this stuff. Uh, let's see if we can get hub upgrade number five done. Uh, we'll grab these out of here. And I guess I don't have any copper. All right, let's go grab some more iron this thing functioning Let's throw this in here all right there we go all right let's go make these rods and we still should have enough cable all right uh rods we needed 75 so let's get those made And it looks like we need 50. We can make 214 wire. That should give us plenty to make the cable. But it looks like we got to go get some more limestone. All right, let's go ahead and crank these out. And hopefully we can at least get enough for the cable. And once we get through all of these hub upgrades, then we can, I think, start automating more stuff. All right. Oh, okay. So we got enough there. So let's go ahead and make the, let's make the cable. We needed 50 of those. All right, there's that. Let's go ahead and put this stuff in. Rods, cable, and we still need, all right, so let's run down there, run down and grab some more limestone. It's not that far away, so we can hop down here fairly quickly. That's the nice thing about having the portable miner down there. It's at least building the, or mining the limestone for us. But we should have a hundred of them down here. Let's grab that. And we'll run back up here. 
We're almost to get the upgrade done on the hub. At least five. I think there's one more. And... All right, let's see. Concrete, all right. So we need 19. There we go. All right. Okay, that is ready to upgrade. Hub upgrade five, power expansion completed. The miner, unlike portable miners, can be connected to conveyor belts and requires power to function. Caution, as you expand, the energy demand of your production may exceed the capacity of your power grid. The onboarding program was established because Fixit pioneers often experience memory issues after planetfall. If you are experiencing nosebleeds, nausea, existentialism, or an itchy scalp, there is no need for concern. This should pass within five to seven workdays. Next objective, complete hub upgrade six. Okay. Well, that's got us through this point. So upgrade five. Yeah, that gave us the storage container and the miner. All right, so this gives us the space elevator, the biomass, the mass burner, and this. So this shouldn't be too bad. Let's get this. Let's select this. Uh, let's go ahead and put everything in that we have. That way we know what we need. Okay, so we need 100 rods. This is producing our iron ingots. Let's grab these and then I'm going to run over here and grab this so that we can get this back getting some more iron ingots going all right pop that in there and so let's get these rods made Okay, and then hopefully we, we're going to have to run down there and get some more limestone, I can see that, but we'll get these rods made, we'll get as much concrete made as we can. I want to get through this hub upgrade number six, because I saw we're, once we get this, this is this space uh, port. And then that will, that kind of gets us into the next level. All right. Let's load up what we can over here. All right, so that's got all the rods and we're just about halfway on the limestone and we're halfway on the wire. Let's uh, let's make what we need on the wire. Okay, yeah, we can make enough wire. And well, that gives us enough wire, so that's we'll go ahead and go ahead and plop that in there. All right, so. Hopefully, we've got some more iron ingots over here. And we do. Uh, let's see how many plates we can make. Uh, plates, plates, iron plates. Not quite enough yet. But we'll grab some more iron ore here once we get these made and throw that into the smelter. All 
All right, let's throw those in there. We're almost halfway. All right, we're gonna go grab. We're gonna go grab this. Hey, big guy, how you doing? All right. And let's go ahead and throw that in there. All right, we're gonna run down here, back down to the limestone. Once we get a little farther along, we're going to be able to set up a conveyor system because we'll be able to put a miner down here and set up a storage unit and then it will mine the limestone and put that all into a storage unit. And actually what we'll do is we'll build a constructor down here as well. And so that way it will make the cement for us and so we then can just uh, grab cement as we need it all right so this should hopefully we've got uh, enough ingots up here now and uh, we'll grab the ingots 61, okay, we might as well grab those, yep. And all we gotta do is make the cement and the iron plates. All right, let's make these iron, nope, not screws, we want iron plates. Still not gonna be quite enough, but it's producing more ingots over there for us, and so we'll get these made. I guess I have some iron on me. I can make some ingots myself. And go ahead and do that. Might as well pound those out. And we'll go ahead and pound those more iron plates. And let's see what that, uh, just, we're still a couple short. All right, we still need to make the concrete. And we needed 24. I think we should be able to make enough. Okay. All right. Let's load what we can over here. Iron plates. We need three more. And we've got, so we just need the three more plates. So we should have ingots over here that we can grab. Yeah. Okay. Need three iron plates. There we go. That's enough. All right. Drop them in. And let's do the upgrade. Hub upgrade six, landing platform hydraulics completed. Freighter landing initialized. Congratulations, you have completed onboarding and achieved the absolute minimum skill level required of a Fixit pioneer. Fixit looks forward to your future achievements because a future with Fixit is a future with you. Tier one and two milestones are now available in the hub and biomass burners can now be built individually. Your first official objective is to initiate project assembly by building the space elevator. This objective will take a significant amount of resources, so Fixit recommends getting to work. All right, Ada, I'll get to work on that right away. Okay, so we have managed to get the hub all built. If we go over here, we can see that uh, we've got Tier zero done, that was all of the hub upgrades. So if we click on tier one, we got base building, uh, we've got logistics, and we've got field research. So I think what we're gonna do is we'll click this one in and go ahead and select this milestone because this will give us uh, some splitters and mergers, merging uh, for conveyor belts and stuff like that. And I think under here, uh, 
yeah, there's no real hurry to get this one done just yet. So we'll want to do the logistics. So let's select that and get that in place. And that'll be there for the next episode. All right, let's step back and take a look at things here. So we got the hub all built. We managed to get some automation, kind of. We got the portable miners. Uh, we'll be replacing those in the next episode and actually getting a full mining operation going on the iron and probably the copper over there. Uh, we're going to be building some biomass burners to get those in place. Uh, we did get a second biomass burner here on the hub, but we're not going to necessarily be relying on them too much. I want to get the stuff built up and saved here fairly quickly uh, so we can kind of get away from the biomass burning as much as possible. Anyway, I think that about wraps this episode, the first episode of uh, Satisfactory. Well, all you certified pioneers out there, if you uh, like this uh, video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps the video out. And please subscribe. That will really help the channel. Okay, all you pioneers, keep assembling away and don't get uh, eaten by any of the wildlife. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.